Manhattan, and he now has a new mission. He has his eyes set on Silicon Valley. Joining me now is Nick Haig. Thanks for coming on CBS oh, Bay Area. Absolutely, Michelle. Pleasure being with you today. This is so great. I'm so excited to talk to you. First of all, you just returned to Earth, what, last October after six yes. months on the International Space Station? Yes, 203 days. Uh, <laughs> it's just an amazing experience. Uh, I got to do more different science experiments than I could possibly imagine. So you were doing I, science experiments on board, but you also did a couple spacewalks too. Spacewalks too. It's an amazing, uh, you know, just stepping out that hatch and seeing everything below you, the Earth glide by. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it changes the way you view the Earth for sure. No kidding. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah, I, you know, you look down and you see everything. I mean, it's just everything right. that you've ever known, and it's below you, and it's just kind of peacefully gliding by. You forget that you're screaming through space at 17,000 miles an hour. And, uh, because does it just seem so it's, calm? It's and calm and quiet and serene, and you're up there just working side by side with your crewmate and talking to ground control and, and just working. And every detail of your work when you're out in space, I mean, that is scrutinized. I mean, you, ha you have to get it right. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's so critical, the things that we're doing outside. But, you know, everything we do up there is scripted. And that goes back to the stuff that we're doing on the inside. You know, we, I mentioned those science experiments. Every, everything that we do is scripted out line by line in procedures because we're really just the hands and the eyes and, and the ears for the scientists on the ground, the teams that have been working for years to get their experiment on, on board. Um, and that's why I'm here in the Bay Area this week, is to try to reach out to researchers, to scientists, to developers, and to help connect them with those opportunities to do research in this really special, one-of-a-kind place. And it's a great place because, you know, we're all about tech and, and uh, Absolutely. engineering and STEM. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable what changes when gravity is taken out of the equation. Mm -hmm. Water just dances in front, of your, in front of your eyes, and it challenges everything that you thought you knew about your your universe universe around you changes when you start to see that. And that changes what we can discover. Uh, when we take gravity away, it opens up all kinds of new possibilities to deep, more deeply understand the world around us and the things that, that affect our lives, medicines and materials. It, it helps us improve life on the ground. You know, when you take gravity away too, I have seen videos of you doing flips on board. I had a little fun. <laughs> or the International Space Station. A little easier to do it up there, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Uh, you fly around. I got to fly for six months, seven months up there, and uh, and you, you know, getting your 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 morning coffee out of the pantry and the drink bag, and doing a backflip over to the water dispenser in order to add some water to it, so you can have morning coffee. Is, it's, uh, you know, I got to be five years old. And Do you they, miss it in space? Oh, absolutely. You miss the just the the amazing feeling of of being in this unique environment and, and you know, the privilege of being uh, afforded that opportunity to be part of that special team. Well, this is just amazing to me. I told you that I had seen um, a shuttle launch. It was the Atlantis, one of its last launches a few years ago. You said you've never seen a shuttle launch. No, no. Just I ne from inside. Yeah, so, you know, when I launched, it was the only the second time that I'd ever seen a, a launch, you know, and when we launched from Kazakhstan. So right. soon everybody in the U.S. is going to have the opportunity to be able to see us launch from Florida uh, when we start to launch crews to the space station. And when does that start? Uh, so here in the next few months we're going to launch our first crew to the space station uh, and you know and then the next exciting uh, development after that is when we start going back to the moon and so we're going to launch our, our Artemis program the SLS the Orion spacecraft is going to launch out of Florida and that's on the horizon. Yeah going back to the moon what kind of uh, what kind of things are you guys going to be looking for? Um, well you know the first thing we're going to look for is crew. And so next week, uh, we're opening up the application process to become an astronaut. So I'm looking for people to you know, go to space with me. What do you need to become an astronaut? I mean, obviously, you have to be very smart, very good in math, science. Yeah. yeah. You know, part of it is just being really you know, a good people person. How do you work on a team? Uh, and showing that, that you don't always have to be the one that shines. You don't always have to be the leader. Sometimes you can just do what's needed for the team to help make it better. Uh, and that's, you know, you're up there in a, in a tin can, close proximity for a long period of time. You really want to be surrounded with good people that know how to be part of a good team. Yeah, you were there for six months, which is amazing. The other thing amazing about you, you survived an emergency aboard. This was in 2018. Yes, yes. That's a scary, scary incident. Well, yeah, so when a rocket disintegrates underneath you when you're going 4,000 miles an hour, it's a little scary. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess that's something else that we look for in the crew that we select is just being able to to train and, and, and be focused enough to stay calm in situations 
situations like that. So talk about that moment when you knew something was wrong. Uh, something there was a sensor on the panel that went yeah, off. Yeah, right? so the you know you're 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 sitting there. It's it's everything I've dreamed of being. It's like being strapped into a sports car and somebody lays on the gas and you're just pressed into the seat. And then about two minutes into the launch, uh, when the external boosters were supposed to separate, one of them collided back into the rocket and and then pieces started coming apart. And in that quarter second that that happened because we were going so fast, our escape system pulled us away to safety. And so we landed under a parachute and some pararescue jumpers uh, jumped in and, and pulled us out of the hatch and uh, and uh, they had big smiles on their faces we had big smiles on our face yes. and uh, yeah so it was uh, something to talk about another person who had a big smile on their face was your wife and yes. I remember seeing video of you guys just embracing each other not wanting to let go was just so happy that she was able to hug you in one moment did you think I'm not gonna do that again you know, you, you think that, and it was within, you know, just a handful of hours that I walked down, uh, you know, a ramp off of an airplane onto the, to the tarmac and was able to give Katie a hug. And, and one of the first things she said to me was just, you know, you'll get there. Uh, you know, we're committed to this. Um, you know, it is a risky business, yeah. but we do it because it is so important. You know, I talked about that science. What we're doing up there, the discovery, is for the benefit of all humanity. And so it's easy to stay committed to something like that. Sure. Okay, let's talk about your time real quick um, here in the Bay Area. You, you did touch on what you're, what you're doing here, trying to get uh, companies, um, you know, interested in all of this. Yeah. So what do people here in the Bay Area need to know about your mission? Yeah, so... You know, it, there is opportunity to do research in space. And so we just have to be able to connect the people that are interested in doing it to those opportunities. And that's why we're here. And, and we're gonna be all through San Jose this week. Uh, it, we're gonna be at IBM and Samsung. I'm gonna talk at Nerd Night tonight. Uh, it, we're gonna be at the Stanford D School. Uh, all of these places, Founders Institute. Uh, so if they wanted to, to come out and see some of those public events, uh, please do. They could follow me on Twitter at Astro Hague and uh, and they can get linked in to where we're going to be. I'd uh, love to share the, the opportunities with them. That is so awesome. It's such an honor to talk to you today. Oh, my